Good evening, everyone. It's Kathy with Plan Happy With Me. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm really glad that you stopped. I hope you take a few minutes to hang with me and watch me create my converted horizontal layout. If you're a repeat planner friend, welcome back. I can't thank you enough for deciding to spend your video time with me. Okay, tonight we're going to get started in my horizontal vertical converted that I use as a Bible journal, but I think this would be so cool as a book journal, as a uh, memory journal. I am trying to figure out how I can use this in 2023 because I love this layout. It's going to be for the week that begins on 228, and I really don't follow a challenge for this planner because this planner, 52 weeks and 12 months, will be flowers. So, we're going to get started. I'm using Kel of the Plan stickers for the monthly stickers, and I am using the weekly florals um, in here because she had some really good ones. It was really hard for me to decide for this week, so we're just going to get this party going. If you are new here... You probably have not seen me use the planner guides. And I use the planner guides because I'm a very indecisive planner. I have to change things and get it moved around a hundred times before I decide uh, exactly the lookout I'm looking for. Okay, this is my vertical. Now the day here does dot line up with the... This will be the 28th and then whatever. Um, but I don't go by dates in this planner. I, When it's all said and done, I will show you. Um, there's four quadrants. I do a Bible study or verse four times a week. And um, if you were going to do it as a memory planner or a book journal, you would then only have to enter four times a week as well. So... There really isn't a date here. You can always add a date, but we'll, we're going to go on. So the first slide um, is very simple. I was going to get rid of the black, and it changed my mind. Um, there is some black in the um, stickers that I chose, so I kept it. I was like, it's, it's going to look just fine with the black. And so I needed a sticker to hide the November, December. And so I went with a big one um, right from Kel's book. Now, I don't know if these are supposed to be um, vertical, but I'm using it horizontal. And I'm okay with that. I'm going to put the uh, month in here and the Bible verse that I'm going to record in this quadrant. So, I, first, I was going to do the month this way. And the more I think about it, the more I like it that way. So, I'm going to commit to that way. See, I've already changed my layout. And then, the Bible verse will go here. I'm going to just cover this with white. Out because the box that's going to go here, I'm moving to the other side. So, it just needs to be whited out. So, I can write over it. You'll never, ever even know it was there. Okay. So, now I'm going to start with the decor. And remember, ladies, this is a very simple layout because I fill the whole space with writing. So, I also have a thing. If you put this outside the box, then all of them have to be outside the box. And because where the other one is going, it just didn't lean to being outside the box. This one is going to be inside the box. Okay, now yeah, that takes up a lot of my writing space. Um, I think what I'm going to do for this one, normally I make the Bible verse over here and then I journal about it on this side. I think what I'm going to do is do a few lines here across the top, write in the Bible verse, and then journal on the bottom. Instead of going up and down, we're going to go across on this one. Okay, so now, I don't know how many of you, I am not a big um, bullet point user. 
I do use them, but very rarely. And I always end up with lots of them left over. These little bullet points here. Well, in one of my layouts, I have figured out a way that I like using them. So I will show you here in just a minute. Now I'm gonna add some washi tape under here because the other side in Happy Planners, um, all knowing best what to put in our planners, on the other side of this, this page, there's a big orange box. And so I use the washi tape that comes with this kit um, to hide that box. Well, this over here just looked a little bit on the empty side. So I had a little couple little pieces that I decided to go ahead and, um, use up here just so this side didn't look quite so empty. And I got, there we go. And so I'll put my Bible verse there, probably write my verse here and then journal underneath. And I think that's kind of neat because sometimes we need to change things up so they don't get redundant and awful and ugly. And, you know, when you keep doing the same thing, you kind of lose interest. So I'm not going to do that. So this next part is the part that I'm going to use the bullets on. And then we'll go to side B. I, I mean, it's kind of a, a stupid thing, I guess. I just like using up the things I have and I kind of like the way it looks. I'm going to put it on wax paper because it just makes it a little easier to get it off. So we're going to put it right next to each other. Um, kind of in a straight row, straight as we can make it, right? And then I'm just using up, I just want to use up all these dots I have. It's kind of sad because the black one... We could probably use, how many of you would say you could use black bullets, right? Yeah, I probably shouldn't have used the black one, but I did and I'm not changing it now. So, um, and then I might never even know to look in this book for them. And I kind of want to have a little bit of that black in the layout because I have lots of black already, but oh well. And then what I did is I just used this sticker. I want to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. And I just kind of put it over like half of the circle. So it just kind of like frames it. If you're a repeat planner friend, you know I don't like my boxes floating on nothing. They have to have an anchor. And these dots make this box the anchor. Now, all I do is peel it off from the back and the dots come right off. And in this page, the dots are actually going to go just above the line. This is my notation box for where my Bible verse is. And there we go. And that is side A. Yeah, it's really simple and really plain, but when I'm done, it's really full. And you are going to want to check out my after the pen so you can see what it looks like. Today, I decided I was going to do my after the pens different. And that'll happen in when I do the February ones. At the, so look for that in March. I have been doing just a after the pen of all of my um, pages in one video. But I want to change that up a little bit and kind of make it um, a little more personal and a little shorter. So I have an idea. I'm going to put it into action in February. And hopefully everybody will see and like it. Okay, so I don't really do after the pin stills and post them on Instagram. Honestly and truthfully and just because we are planner friends. It's too much work for me to do that. I work basically full time. I am a tutor and um, I just don't have the time to go back and take photos after the pin. And so I do the little video thing and that makes it so much easier for me. So um, 
I that's that's how I'm gonna run my little video shop here okay yep there we go and so this is going to be the box for this Bible verse so this will go here and then I'll journal here I really like to break the rules I really don't follow um, the pattern every single time because I do get bored really easy now this washi tape went over the black a little bit so I'm just gonna take this really I love the way this pen writes it's really cheap it's dollar store find um, but I'll be honest it does shadow or bleed through but it's gonna be black on black so I think it'll be fine and now it looks like there's no extra tape on it these stickers have been on my guide maybe two hours I'm not having any resistance getting them off um, if you are new and um, I, I'll tell you what I tell everybody and that is um, the planner guides work for me really well okay but they are controversial because if you leave them on the guides too long, the stickers will stick. Paper stickers especially will stick. So you have to be very careful. I, I try not to leave my stickers on the guides more than 24 hours. Doesn't always happen. I'm very upfront when I do a spread and the stickers have been on longer than 24 hours. Um, but see, it was a cool way to keep the paper, the, the, the grouping colors, right? And yet I still got to use up, uh oh, no, I did it right. Um, I still got to use up those dots that I don't usually ever get to use. And the one thing I will tell you is that, um, Lifting up a non-Happy Planner sticker once you've put it down can sometimes be really tricky because they're just not a marriage. And so when you try to remove it, it doesn't want to be removed. And in California, which is where I live, we are not adults. We are not allowed to have undo. And so that is not an option for me. Now there is a product that some people might say would be the alternative, but I'm going to tell you, in my opinion, it does not work. It might get your sticker off the page and that's a big might, um, but it won't let you reuse the sticker. The sticker is destroyed. Okay. So ladies, that is it quick and easy. I'm going to pull you out a little bit so you can see a little bit e better maybe. Sorry for making you nauseous. So check the after the pin. You'll see the verses that I used and how I did it. I'm going to do this one a little bit differently. We're going to go across for the verse and journal underneath. Across for the verse, journal underneath. Across for the verse, journal on top. Across for the verse and journal on top. So it's going to look really cute when it's all said and done. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider hitting the like button and the red subscribe button. I would love to have more planner friends and to, to get to know you guys better. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening and I will see you in the next video. Good night.